I really hope to bring awareness through this film, not only for people with anxiety, but for people without anxiety. I just want them to feel seen and that we are taking steps towards understanding. If I can describe this in one word, which is very difficult, but I would say uncomfortable. We do want the audience to feel something. I believe that what we've done with this film is something different in terms of how we have represented mental health, in terms of how we have openly shown someone experiencing mental health and how we have shown someone truly experiencing mental health and not the stereotypical way that it is represented in the films and the TV shows that we see today. The goal is awareness and understanding which leads to like education and wiseness amongst others. It was insane! There's an absolute effect. Uh, it's absolutely... In terms of what was the hardest part of post-production, it would definitely be the fact that everything was done remotely. And not just the fact that I had to do editing at home, it was also communicating with my crew especially to the post team of what we need to get done. Definitely yes, especially on shoot day because having to juggle everyone's disciplines and my own with like only my mom to help me during shoot day definitely slowed things down a lot. It was, it was not as intense but I think day one kind of shaped the, the way forward. But I'm so, so happy that I got to work with the actresses that we have. Yeah, they just really gave their all um, to making this film incredible. So, that, yeah, I enjoy directing remotely. And, yeah, I didn't think I would ever say those words. Something I've learned about myself throughout this film is that I've learned that one of my strengths is problem solving. Um, and one of my weaknesses may be preparation and that may be due to problem solving. I rely heavily on it. And so yeah, definitely a weakness. I could prep way more. What I have learned about myself is that I can adapt easily. Because before the COVID-19 pandemic hit the country, everything was physical. We were doing things on campus. The experimental festival was going to be on campus. And we we're having crew meetings in person discussing new ideas and everything. And when the COVID-19 pandemic hit the country, we had to move to online. So basically, I have managed to adapt from one way of doing things to this new way of doing things online. There are so many people in this world that I'm sure would love to be able to study film or to study sound design, but they just don't have the opportunity or the finances to do so. I've realized that I shouldn't take this experience for granted. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I must actually just learn to grow and develop into an amazing sound designer and actually be thankful and grateful for the opportunity. I learned that I could do anything if I really worked hard and put my mind to it. I'm kind of really proud of myself for. Something I've learned about myself while wo working on this film is that I need to spend a bit more time listening to myself. This has taught me to kind of stay in one place for a long period of time and think one kind of thought. So don't do different things at different times or at the same time, but like kind of separate myself from whatever I'm doing and kind of focus on what needs my attention at that moment in time. Something that I learned when making this film was definitely that anything is possible with the right amount of resources. The fact that we could make this 10 minute film with just us, our cameras, our editing software, remotely, and just an internet connection shows the power that we often take for granted. And that was something I definitely learned about this film. We are all capable. We are great people and we are strong. We are certainly capable of pushing through an event like this. So yeah, um, it was a challenge, but it was a healing one and a good one and one that I hope other people will love just as much as I do.